एटॉमिक मास यूनिट और ए एम यू एंड एवरेज एटॉमिक मास एलिमेंट्स बाय नो एवरीथिंग एटॉमिक मास यूनिट द मॉडर्न सिस्टम ऑफ एटॉमिक मास इज बेस्ड ऑन कार्बन ट्वेल्व एज द स्टैंडर्ड इन दिस सिस्टम सी ट्वेल्व इज असाइंड अ मास ऑफ एग्जैक्टली ट्वेल्व एटॉमिक मास यूनिट्स और ए एम यू and the masses of all other atoms are given relative to this standard so what does it mean first of all the mass of carbon 12 is considered as exactly 12 atomic mass units or amu so what does it mean it means that the mass of carbon 12 is considered exactly 12 atomic mass units or amu and other masses are calculated relative to this standard only so atomic mass unit what is that when c12 and c13 are analyzed in a mass spectrometer the ratio of their masses was found to be 1.0836129 so here you can see that when we take the ratio of mass of c13 with respect to mass of c12 we get the value of 1.0836129 since the atomic mass unit is defined such that the mass of c12 is exactly 12 atomic mass units then mass of c13 can be calculated by this equation let's see how to calculate it. so mass of c13 we can get by multiplying the mass of c12 with the value of 1.0836129 which is this one so after multiplying this we get the value of 13.003355 am which is the mass of c13 so what is the average atomic mass of carbon carbon is found on earth or natural carbon is a mixture of isotopes of c12 c13 and c14 so all the three isotopes have six protons but they have 6 7 and 8 neutrons respectively because natural carbon is a mixture of three isotopes the atomic mass we use for carbon is an average value reflecting the average mass of the isotopes which are composing it hence the average atomic mass of carbon should be the average of these three isotopes natural carbon is composed of 98.89% of c12 atoms and 1.11% of c13 atoms the amount of c14 is negligibly small that is one part per trillion at this level of precision so we can see this in the form of a pie chart so here the green area shows the abundance of carbon 12 and this red area shows the abundance of carbon 13 and as the c14 is present in very negligible amount it is not represented here using the masses of c12 which is 12 amu and c13 which is 13.003355 amu we can calculate the average atomic mass of natural carbon as follows but before that let's see what is the actual average mass of carbon so this is the picture from a periodic table So we can see that the carbon has atomic number of six and atomic mass of twelve point zero one one. So we are going to calculate the average atomic mass of carbon and let's see how to get this value. Average atomic mass of carbon would be mass of C twelve plus mass of C thirteen. So total mass of C twelve is equal to ninety eight point eight nine percent of twelve amu. as we know that the carbon 12 has mass of 12 am and its percentage in the natural carbon is 98.89% so we are going to calculate the mass of carbon 12 which is present in this percentage so let's solve this equation we get the value of 11.8668 am similarly total mass of c13 is equal to 1.11% of 13.0034 am we know that the mass of c13 is this and its percentage is this so let's solve this equation we get the value of 
0.1443 AMU. As we can see, we have to add these values, this and this value to get the average atomic mass of carbon. So let's do that. Average atomic mass of carbon will be sum of these two values and we get the value of 12.01 which is the average atomic mass of the carbon. Now let's see an another example. Average atomic mass of natural copper. Natural copper is composed of 69.09% copper 63 and 30.91% of copper 65. The mass value of copper 63 and 65 are 62.93 and 64.93 AMU respectively. So we are going to use the mass value of these. Now, let's see the actual value which is already given in a periodic table. So, the copper has atomic number of 29 and atomic mass as 63.546. So, let's get this value by using the same method. Average atomic mass of copper will be mass of copper 63 plus mass of copper 65. We will use the same formula as we used in the case of carbon. Total mass of copper 63. As we know its mass is 62.93 AMU and its percentage is this. So after solving this equation we will get the value of its mass. That is 43.478 AMU. And total mass of copper 65 will be the percentage of copper 65 is 30.91 and its mass is 64.93 AMU. So let's solve this equation. We get the value of 20.07 AM. So let's calculate the average atomic mass which is the sum of these two values. We get the value of 63.55 AM which was in the periodic table. Conclusion The average mass of an element also called as average atomic mass or simply atomic mass for that element. As most elements occur in nature as mixtures of isotopes, thus atomic masses are usually average values of those isotopes. Here are a few other examples from the periodic table. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.